Yeah. Yeah, actually, agree. Mass Effect once did seem to feel more immersive in the sequel. I think well, I've been playing a bit of it earlier, and I wasn't. But I haven't been enjoying it that much. There's something that just doesn't feel my Well, own. I did have to change the key binders to something more similar to Mass Effect 2 because I wasn't really happy with it. I can always look at the key bindings, but with the assault rifle, it reminds me of Hero because the assault rifle was like, oh, um, this is where you're shooting, sort of. It never really had the precise shooting thing, it was a circle, yeah. wasn't it? And that's what Mass Effect's been with it, it's like, yeah. Except with the Mass Effect 1, the more you shoot, the wider it gets. Yeah, so I presume you played it in the stage around. Yeah. The, the, the assault rifles in Halo never sounded quite as good as they did in the first one. It sounded really powerful in the first one, it felt like that was happening. But it is weak, it, the assault rifle in Halo was awful. Who guess? It always bothered me because it was just it was just a painful girl. Well up most of them were really. Uh, I didn't really mind the battle rifle or the DMR, I don't but mind the DMR. some of it was just like just, I, I liked the Magnum from the first one that killed everything. Oh yeah, the Magnum from the first one, but most of them felt like they had no power at all, like you might as well have been a nerf gun. I take that covenant and eventually had so many nerfs rounds on the covenant the shields failed because I just couldn't hold back that much nerf because it was all sticking to the shield so it just shut down and then they just died because what? smothered by um, foam darts yeah well, no I mean in the first one a full magazine almost of assault rifle killed an elite and since they're like so the old people then that's not so bad a full round though, compared to other shooting games, where it's like, you could fire a few shots and take someone on. Yeah, it's... but the whole point, elites are meant to be really strong. They're yeah, meant to be strong, but like you said just before, they're supposed to be the equal, then... No, it Spartans, needs to be some more well, Spartans weren't supposed to be equal to elites, but it's just that Spartans could be used more, like, tactics to their advantage, because the elites were just arrogant. Yeah, but the tactics weren't there in the games, which means that you have to rely on shooting them. You don't want to have to just sort of stand there and hold the clip, hold the fire button for 30 seconds while you empty a clip into them, and they sort of jump around a bit and do a little dance because the AI was so retarded. They're jumping to cover, jump out of cover, jump into cover, jump out of cover, spin around a little because some guy has gone past in a warthog and not giving you a pick up. Get on the machine gun and finish me off. Yay. That's exactly what it was like. Well, why would you go and do like a Tron thing and build the perfect system? I might do actually. Wait, sir. Um, went into my documents and my document. Oh, I'll have a look, see. I went into see. my documents. Trying to find the file. I was disappointed. I have 50 files in my documents. Um, that's just files, not actual um, documents or photos or anything. And I've got 50 of them that I'm going through because I wanted to find something. Most of these I don't actually need, but I still have one. Oh, come on, that one's empty, that you're just going right now, go away. I think I've still like, got some PCP stuff on the computer, so. I've got lots of stuff. Well, now we put anything that needs to be in a... Like, when there's more than one or something, it has a folder, yeah. but... No, I think I've put just about everything on my computer. I've even got separate folders for like my videos. I'm just trying to find somewhere to put um well, just trying to find the redundant folders. I've gone through found um golden X file. It has one in my document. I don't need that. I played the game for 
five minutes, I think. And it, it was awful. It was nine minutes, actually. Nine, nine minutes. minutes. Golden axe or something. Sweaty shirt with action. Feels good, man. Programmer rogue. Graham. Semi rogue. No, not Graham. Something else, but it was something I was quite quite proud at the sort of beginner's level thing where you think, yes, anyone can probably do this with any sort of knowledge of programming, but this is probably the first thing I've written myself and it has to go back and see how I'd written something from it. And um for some reason it's not in my documents, which means I think it's stored elsewhere, and elsewhere could be anywhere. Yeah, why didn't you just run an app so I mean, it's probably not on my computer, it's stored externally somewhere. And it's not in the cloud. Shepard, don't shoot, you know me. I shut down the security can we discuss those adverts? We need to get to this cloud it. advert out of the way on, here and now. Right. Why do they... You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer? Uh -huh. to Why do they have two computers, really? We all know, you buy a computer, makes the old computer redundant, the old computer goes in the bin instead of recycling plants because chance, you can't be bothered to drive all the way there and dump it in the correct location. It's far easier to put it in the bin and just put, like, a Coke can on the top and hope but that the bin men don't notice how abnormally heavy and notice the actual computer itself and then they drive away and think hmm something's not right here and it goes to the tip and then causes problems for everyone in the future because you're not supposed to do that. Also, if you get to wipe off some of your private data, and then someone comes along one day and like, oh well, computer, and then take the hard drive out, put it in their computer at home after wiping off, like, drizzles of coke, because they put coke in there before, and then they're like, hmm, what's on here then? And they see your pictures from the holiday, get, they get your terrible semi-novel you were trying to write about some guy called Ben and his magic teapot, and then... They find out that you have some bizarre toilet problem because you're going like twice a day during lessons and it's just not right. And then they find out that you never wiped your internet history and go through all of that. Right. Must have been paying attention to that, so it made no sense. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to make sense. Thing, isn't it like permanently stored? Like in that internet server forever. I don't think they were actually advertising cloud computing. I think they were advertising the computer what? itself. Here's your underpowered computer, but it does have internet storage capability, so that's the only bonus you're getting. We're grateful that I'm here. It was one of those sort of all-in-one touchscreen things, yeah, wasn't it? Well and oh, turn monitor off. Oh dear, the entire thing's now. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, I've got no arms. Um, well, I saw one of those ones, I think it was in Staples, and I was like, hmm, what's that weird smack that sound, it's quite high pitch, and kind of like leaned towards it, and it was making this really odd sound, and just thought, that is going to explode at any minute. But it didn't, so... I assume it didn't. But it sounded like it could have done. And people would know about it. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered Yeah, but is it like that the well with the simplified like computer thing, I think that's like the slogan for on live where it says you don't need a powerful computer to like do gaming anymore. But you do need internet, that's probably not what you have. Well, until, like, fully developed, like, fiber optic and, like, one gigabyte internet speeds. Personal issues irrelevant. Here for the collectors. I see. 
Yeah, but there's probably people in the world that can use on live, and they've got like they have like ultra fast internet, but then just not even know how to turn the computer on. There's me with my super powerful computer where I don't actually need the service anyway, but then I can't use it because my area still runs off copper wires. We should probably bring dug out of the ground and salt for scrap as we speak. Yeah. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to be A few more copper threat. wires, I can so get that hard drive going and finally finish reading that awful novel. Why does Billy have a magic teapot? Yeah, copper wires, eh? They should use something. They should use something else that has, like, high electric, high electric conductivity. Why don't they try using gold? That won't get stolen. Use brass. I'm not sure if brass is even that good at conducting electricity. Use water. Um. Use what? Use wireless and energy transfer. Use Tesla coils. I was thinking about that yesterday.